Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Abundance Tree Podcast. <laughs> I'm your host, Janice, and I'm accompanied by my co-host, April Capri. <laughs> April How Capri. Are you going? I'm doing good, girl. I'm feeling good right now. So, because you know, I'm, I don't, I can tell you why I'm feeling good. Because the why next lady, because the lady that we have, girl, it's a previous guest, and so a lot of yes. fun. <laughs> but, yes, but how are you? I'm doing good. I'm also, I'm, I'm the same. I'm feeling good. Great energy. The a start of another great week. Um, just trying to stay positive. I'm not even going to say trying. I am staying positive. So. Yes, staying positive. Got to stay positive. Got to. Got to stay positive. Yeah, we're, we're, we're dressed like a gender reveal today. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me off guard on that one, girl. <laughs> episode 18 yes. so we have kathy nesbitt back and uh man she's a she's a ball of laughs <laughs> for real <She> is. <laughs> it's appropriate that we laugh right now so but uh yeah so let's bring uh, her out our blast from the past and see what miss kathy nesbitt has been up to some of this real-time entrepreneur progress absolutely she stands as a beacon of innovation and empowerment and founder of Kathy's Crawley Composters. Established in 2002, she Kathy has is- also been um, the leading force behind laughter sessions in diverse settings. So when we're laughing, oh, so let me talk about laughter. When we're laughing, we're secreting the love drugs, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins versus cortisol and adrenaline when we're stressed. So I was like, I'm going on a road trip with my worms. So I sent press releases to all the, you know, newspapers, TV, uh, reported from the Toronto Star contact, largest paper in Canada. My prime objective with my club is just to help people get out of stress and into joy. But when you're in a mental crisis, that's where you are. You, you're not, you can't even help yourself. It's just because when we feel good, we do good. We have returning guest, Kathy Nesbitt, is back with us. Here I come. Here I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Poof, right? <laughs> Welcome back, Kathy. How are you? Thank you, Janice and April. I'm excited to be back. I'm doing great. Awesome. Right, I'm so glad that you got back. We're glad that have you back. Leave us. <laughs> We're ready for a good time. So <laughs> We're ready. Always great energy, Kathy. Great to see you. If you don't mind, can you remind people who you are and what you do? Yes, so I'm Kathy Nesbitt. My working title is Kathy Crawley Laughing Bean Queen. I offer simple solutions for today's challenges. Worms for indoor composting, sprouts for eating, grow your own, and laughter for overall health and wellness. I love it. Laughter therapy. Laughter therapy. Let's talk about the laughter. We all need to laugh right now. (laughs) Yes. What exactly is laughter therapy? So laughter, yeah, laughter yoga started in 1995 by a medical doctor, Dr. Madan Kateria. His goal is world peace. Like what a great mission. <laughs> uh, so it's fairly new. Uh, laughter yoga is fairly new. It's not about jokes or comedy. It's not doing yoga and laughing. It's laughing as an exercise. It's a cardiovascular workout. And it's the opposite of stress. And, you know, the longer I do laughter, the more I'm in this. The, the more I become it, the higher my vibration raises, if that's a proper English, I don't know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's literally a, an electrical chemical process. For those that need science, there's the science is here. Right. I, I tell you, I have to be full transparent because honestly, before we before we were going to get started, I was feeling kind of low energy earlier, for real. And I thought, okay, I need some energy. But I know that we have the perfect guest coming on tonight. 
and we just in the pre-meeting we had a, we had a great time and we're laughing and, and we just brought our vibration up and I'm full of energy now so I can attest that it works and so I um, concur <laughs> yes but uh the la laughter therapy I mean some people have told me that I need laugh therapy because of the way I laugh but this is not what this is is it <laughs> Because I'm, ah, I have the big laugh, you know. <laughs> but it's actually de-stressing. That's the therapy part of it, right? Our laugh is like our song. It's right? so beautiful. It's individual. Everybody laughs differently, and it's it's a gift to have a big, beautiful, bold laugh. Is a gift to be able to to really laugh out loud, full on, be present. It, I'm I'm yeah. I think it's an inherited trait. My parents uh, were um, separated when I was seven. My dad moved out of town, out of the province even. So I didn't see my dad. I wasn't raised by my dad. And he, we reunited when I was a teenager. <laughs> I had to escape from my mom. So I ran to my dad. <laughs> like we do sometimes we do things. Um, <laughs> just for a, a visit, not, not to live. <laughs> and his laugh was so big. My dad's laugh was so big. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And my husband now says, I never have to worry when Kathy and I go somewhere. If if she get, go wanders off somewhere, I just have to wait and listen. And then I know where she is. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So I so I totally All got right. my laugh from my dad. And, <laughs> and you know, so I think it's I, I don't know. I don't I, that's not scientifically proven, by the way. That's just my own experience. Well, I think it, it might be because I know my dad had a big laugh, and uh, you know he. And I think I probably got it from him too. So I, it might be in the genes, you know. We <laughs> love big laughers in laughter yoga. We love we call them laugh laughter blasters because they get the other people going. Right. Because right? some people are shy laughter. Some people laugh small. You know, they cover their face and or they just like they don't maybe they have funny teeth or something and they don't want to smile with their, you know, so the laugher blasters help to um, they, they give other people permission to laugh. Wow, I can awesome. totally see that because laughter is contagious. <laughs> it is. It, I love I love how you call them the laughter blasters, though. I love that. I love that term. <laughs> right yeah so yeah. imagine everybody laughing like at the the end of a laughter club so you do some warming up some clapping and you're clapping palm to palm so you're activating meridians like this is there is totally science but it's fun so we don't have to think about what we're doing we just do it and we're getting benefits and it primes us so the clapping helps people that are cerebral the people that are the logical ones that are in their head all the time and want to know everything. Um, this the la the the clapping helps them something to do. Like, what do you mean? I'm laughing. No jokes or comedy. What? So ho ho ha ha ha. We have this, and it primes our brain. So when we come to laughter club, we start ho ho ha ha ha, and our brain's like, oh, happy time. Yoop, and we start secreting the love drugs. So the chemical process is all those dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins versus cortisol and adrenaline, those stress chemicals. We can't be in both systems at the same time. We're, we're totally in charge of our own pharma. It's, it's, it's magic medicine. And I, 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 don't, I, I think it's so simple. You know, in this world that we're in, we're always looking for what is the thing that's high tech, we want the solution to be really complicated so we can justify paying big money for it. <laughs> you know, like, oh, this must be good. I paid a lot for it. Um, so if people want to pay me a lot of money, that's fine. I, I'll still get, they'll still get a wonderful reward. <laughs> <laughs> I accept. <laughs> I heard that. I, I hear that, Kathy. So what have you been working on? Like what's been going on in, over the 2024 this year? Yeah. Oh, well, laughter is taking over my life. It It is the, um, this uh, June was the fourth anniversary of my free online laughter club. Oh, congratulations. Four, thank you. Four years, every Tuesday. You know, it started June 2020 because I needed to laugh. And so other people needed to laugh. So we came together in the Zoom room and, and we laughed. 
and we played and some people have stayed, some left, some come when they can. I get about 20 or 25 people. It's consistent. I think I was getting that back in January. So I'm consistently getting the same amount of people. And it's so beautiful. And I, and that's just squares. Like in the, I have community living come. Um, I don't know if you have that in the US. It's um, sort of special needs groups. Um, all, all, all um, abilities, all different abil abilities. So a group of folks from community living come. I have a long-term care, care facility come. So they're a group, like these are groups that come. Sometimes school classes come. Um, you know, I just feel like it's it's a one-stop one shop for everybody to get their boost of energy, just to play, come and play and get um, injected with joy for the day. And so the fourth anniversary of my laughter club and the third anniversary of my Fun Fab Friday video series. Over 156 episodes, like that's three years wow. of every Friday. Wow. That like... Wow. And so that's my husband and I, we, we go around and, and this, this video series was so beautiful. It was kind of our COVID project, just again, to bring a little bit of joy and, and for us to get out, like, where can we go? Let's go somewhere. So we would go, maybe go to another town and then highlight that town. Oh, did, maybe there's some statues or they have murals on the wall or, you know, they have something. So then we just talk about that or, you know, all different things, which has given us such a wonderful rich time together my husband he's the guy behind the camera he loves doing that editing and adding the graphics and doing that that part I'm just the talking head he's like stand here say this do that and that's what I do sort of <laughs> they, it's the only time he gets to direct me <laughs> <laughs> I love it <laughs> that's why it works out well right. <laughs> congratulations on your uh uh, being so long with the laughing club and then your uh, friday videos congratulations on that that's great thank you yeah. thank you i feel like you know we don't have a lot of followers uh on youtube so if anyone wants to su subscribe it really does help when people subscribe to your youtube channel um you know, I had a, you know, just thinking about like, oh, do, I keep asking my husband, do we want to keep doing it? It's not monetized. We just do it just to bring joy. That's just a, like sparks of joy. That's it. Um, and, and someone wrote on there a comment, you know, thank you for this video series you on one of the episodes. You have no idea how the impact that you're having. And it was just, it just moved me, you know, we just we because we really don't when we're make when we're creating content and we're making an impact, we we really don't know who's watching, who's sharing it with somebody else, even though people don't necessarily like or comment. That is so true. Yeah. <laughs> so true. Cause you never know whose life you're touching. Even if you just touch one, I think I'd be satisfied if I help one person, you know. So that's that's wonderful yeah it's such an incredible feeling just knowing that even if it's just one person like wow I positively impacted somebody you know yeah it moved me when I read that, that comment I said wow that's why we're doing this video series I mean it's for us we have so much fun we really uh, we have just so much fun making these things and it's forcing us to go places and I I literally Google because people are like, how do you find these cool things to do? Because I literally Google cool things to do in like a town or unique experiences. I I, I mean that that those are my search words when I'm looking for cool things. Like, oh, what kind of cool things can we do? Hey, why don't I Google that? <laughs> so it's great. Are you still into the creepy crawly <laughs> worms? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still doing the worms. Yeah, 22 yeah. years. Um, oh, okay. It's the the laughter has taken a front seat. It seems to be the priority for me and what the world oh, okay. is asking of me right now mm -hmm. is, um, you know, I think you can excel at a few things and I do excel at the worms too. It's just, I think right now there's such a demand, you know, pe so many people are struggling and I, I, I believe it's the remnants of the the cuckoo time, the lockdown, we're just feeling the effect of that. Like, it's like, oh, phew, that's over. It's not over because so many people were traumatized. We were 
locked in our houses. People died without us saying goodbye. We weren't able to be with them. We were afraid that if someone touched us in the grocery store, you know, our arm would fall off or something, you know? So, and I'm not making light of it. I'm not. People are really, really struggling. And if you were struggling before 2020, it's just exacerbated. And I believe that it's bigger. So more people need this magic medicine. And the beautiful part, I can't remember if I said it uh, the last time I was here, but I'll say it again, it's really important. English is really interesting language. So no, I'm gonna say a couple of phrases and then I'll break it down. No laughter, no problem. No laughter, no problem. So K-N, no, N-O laughter, K-N-O-W problem. K-N-O-W laughter, and oh problem. And laughter doesn't make our problem go away. It opens our brain, oxygenates our brain, brings all our fluids back upstairs so we can come up with a better solution. So we can get out of stress. So we can, whatever we need to do. Because when we're stressed, we're in fear. We're all closed down. We're not breathing. Like our, our body is in, you know, stress mode. It's not in, <clears throat> it's not in rest and digest. I That's love that. Oxygen for healing. I was somewhere, I was at a um one of these health health spas and um they do like the therapy, the IV therapy where they kind of infuse the vitamins and stuff and they they had um oxygen therapy. And so I've never had oxygen therapy, but it was not free and it was not cheap. And I don't think that people realize how healing oxygen just like deep breathing pausing you know and breathing is and laughter like you were saying the first episode when you take deep breaths in you have to kind of laugh and catch your breath you're using muscles and how can how does uh what is oxygen oxygenation i'm, I'm sorry i can't say that word oxygenation for the brain what does that do to somebody mm. oh the brain requires 25 percent more oxygen than the rest of the body as an operating principle oh. so when we're stressed we're not breathing properly. Our body's not getting what it needs. For sure, our brain isn't. So that's number one. I mean, that our, every single one of our trillion cells it runs with oxygen. Cancer cannot survive in an oxygen-rich body. Cancer cannot survive. So imagine, you know, so when we receive a cancer diagnosis, it's stressful, so we stop breathing because we're stressed, we're worried, oh no, and then the family gets worried, and then we're vibrating at a very low level, because we're afraid, we don't know, and I'm not, I'm not mocking anything, just we need, we need these tools that help us, laughter, like laughter therapy is so beautiful for folks that, that are going through cancer, because it oxygenates our body, but it helps, laughter is complementary medicine, so there's no side effects, Nobody's OD'd from laughing too much. Like your stomach might hurt and your cheeks might hurt. You might pee a little bit. Um, <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> might be a little embarrassed after that. That's okay. Um, but really, like, so there's research into um, folks going through cancer. If they get the cancer team laughing before they get their treatment, their treatment is better received into their body. And there's less side effects following that chemo or radiation. Um, they've done, there's research on folks going through dialysis, like terrible. If you're going through dialysis, you got to go, you know, sometimes two, three times a week, depending how shut down your kidneys are. And you might be there for hours. So imagine, again, you're laughing with the person who's do, administering the dialysis. You're laughing together. They're helping you laugh. And you're laughing with all the other people that are getting dialysis at the same time. Now you're a community. Do you, do you want to go for dialysis? No, of course you would want your kidneys to, to function better. But imagine if they can maybe start to make a recovery because you're healing. Because... It's, it's way bigger than just the giggle at the moment. The effects are long lasting and it's the practice. You don't go to a laughter club once, it's a practice. You need to laugh. I think I might've said earlier on my the earlier episode, I have a laughter buddy. I laugh every day, five minutes, two minutes, 
full on one minute breathing, two more minutes. It's two and a half years now. Again, another milestone. Love it. Right? And yeah. what I say, I do a lot of school workshops and I tell the kids what we do is cumulative. So if we eat, like, I don't know if people do this, but if we ate a chocolate bar every day and we're like, it's just one chocolate bar, whatever, no big deal. Once in a while, it is no big deal. But if we, and so then I say, if you have a chocolate bar every day for a year, that's 365 chocolate bars, 366 in a leap year, <laughs> <laughs> right? That's a lot. So imagine if you're laughing, if you laugh every day for a year, that it's cumulative. These things all add up. They they compound, like compound interest, right? So so we need to do these things that are beneficial for our body. I'm not saying we can't have. I I don't I don't even like calling them treats because they're not really treats if they're actually harming us. I I think it's all marketing. Like oh, we should go out for ice cream or we should have a chocolate bar or oh, if you're if you're good and you do your chores, I'll give you you know. A, and these things like <clears throat> they're they're like the carrot, the this you know, for that that sounds like a healthy thing, but you know, I, I I really think that we're we're kind of upside down and it maybe if we dig down deep enough, it may go back to the marketing of okay, who's behind all of these things? Who is behind the hallmark? Like what is um easter all about like who who said we should be looking for easter chocolate bunnies and stuff you know like it's it's just kind of interesting i don't know where it came from it seems like a marketing thing but i seem to be off track now <laughs> i think it is <laughs> but you know <laughs> it's true though yeah but it's so powerful though because you know they do say that laughter is the best medicine i mean so i could see like i you know just in just a few minutes of us coming back together and you coming back on the with us today, like my energy just, I'm telling you, it just increased pretty quickly. So it, it just, it's just great to have that. And it's so great that you have that. You said a weekly group uh, on Tuesdays, you said? Tuesday morning, 9.30. 9.30, okay. 9.30 That's, Eastern. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So How do that people is... get into the group? Yeah, my website is kathysclub.com, Kathy with a C, and the information is right at the top of the page, Free Laughter Club. Um, yeah, I I would just invite everyone to come. I mean, I don't record my sessions, so people are free to come and play and experience. You know, sometimes I think when things are recorded, uh, people might be hesitant to play or maybe not have their camera on or something. Um, I do encourage people to have their camera so we can look at each other. It is the eye contact, seeing the other people laughing. And I, you know, I do a lot of work with special needs. And I had when you, when I do my training, I do a two day training. And the first hour of the training is a laughter club. And I usually, I, I do my best to time it. So it's a Tuesday and Thursday, my training, so that people can, so that the students can come to the, the laughter club that's existing, right? It's a successful, beautiful, so they can see. And what, what that does is they get to experience what they're building up to. They're taking the two-day training so they can do what we're doing in the laughter club. If if they choose to do that, right? And and that just occurred to me after doing 10 trainings. I was like, oh, I did never understood. Why do we start with the, the end product? Like, aren't we going to that? Why do we start with that? It's like, oh, it's like, here's where we're headed here's what you want to create and then we break it down over the two days here's what you do to do that you do this you do this and then you do that thing and and then you leave yeah. so people get to practice so in the laughter so in the last training I asked some of my students uh, my former students if they could comment on how laughter has affected their life you know maybe what are they doing with it or something about the training just to make a comment and one young man who was only coming three weeks to my club, um, he he's a special needs young man. Uh, I didn't know because I don't I don't know him. Um, he asked if he could say something, and he said um, that he just was introduced to my club and how the laughter has affected his life. He's he's an advocate for folks that have disabilities. He has his own disability, but he's advocating for others. And he he said, because I have community living and in these other groups, he said, I love how your group is 
inclusive. Again, it hit my heart. I was like, wow, you don't know what people are seeing. Even, you know, you're in the group together and you don't know what other people are experiencing when, when they're with you. That's so true. And I, I love that because I, I, I'm a, t a teacher, a high school teacher. And part of what I do is I work with special needs students as well. So mm -hmm. that that grabs my heart as well, because when you can be inclusive and you're able to do t what we call task analysis and break the task down and, by chunks. And so they understand what they're getting into. And then if, for them to have a such a impact on their life and you, and you know that you've made that impact, it's so rewarding. So I feel you on that. It's so wonderful. It's so powerful. It really is. I love it. Yeah. It's very touching. I work with yes. seniors, people with disabilities as well. And uh, the laughter is needed. And I think it's often overlooked, and myself included. You know, we have, we get so caught up in our daily or we might isolate ourselves and not want to share things. Um, so I really love what you're doing and that it, it is inclusive of everybody, you know, and anybody can do it, you know. Absolutely. Anybody can do it. And um, we talked before the, the recording about the training. You know, I really would love to encourage everybody to consider taking this training for yourself. So you have the knowledge. What about, why is laughter the best medicine? What does that mean? Because when we learn about the science, the history, and, and how it benefits our body, then we want to do it. Then we're like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to laugh more because it's good for me. And it, it really goes, it's complementary with whatever you're doing. If somebody's working in long-term care, you don't have to do a whole laughter club while you're bathing the client, while you're helping them get dressed, you could be laughing with them. You know, you could do some of the little laughter games while you're doing the activities. It's, it, there's no, um, there's no limit. And I've recently been hired. So this is my latest thing for birthday party. So it was a teacher, this a, a high school, no, a elementary, a gym teacher, elementary te teacher. His wife got in touch with me and asked me, do you do um, birthday parties? My husband's having a hard time. He's struggling. And I really would love to get him laughter for his birthday. It could, it could have gone really wrong because we ended up having to do it in a really public place. And it was raining, so we were all under one little shelter. <laughs> So I was like, oh, this could be really bad. And he was one of the cerebral types. One of his buddies came, also a cerebral teacher, and they were standing opposite each other. So it was really funny. At one point, the birthday boy said, oh, look at Daniel's not going to be able to do this because look at he's so stiff and serious. And Daniel's like, buddy, you should look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> But, but because they were looking at each other, I'm sure they were making those weird eyes like, oh, what are we doing here? What is this all about? This is weird. We're laughing. What? And they're, they're you know, their ego firing off like, oh, we're, we look ridiculous. But they were looking at each other. So it was so beautiful. And they ended up laughing in the end because you do, you do some, you, some, you succumb to it. So the faster, the better. That's what I would say. If anyone goes to a laughter club and it's weird. Go with it. Just just allow yourself to get out of your head, into your, just do it, just laugh. And you might be like, that was the weirdest thing I've ever done, but I feel great. I love how you said you, you succumb to it. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have, to, I have to call April out right now because April is one of the funniest people I know. Me and, me and April get together. We laugh. I'm telling you, that girl makes me laugh. So we have our own laugh club too. So I have to, I have to say it, April. I'm sorry, but you're a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we get together, we get to laugh and, all, and so but so it, it is really great and powerful. It really does. It makes you feel better and everything. So I do have a tough question for you though, real quick. Okay. So well, I don't know, you may not think it's tough, but I was just wondering. So you mentioned earlier that some people might be be struggling, you know, maybe from the pandemic or whatever life is life and for them and they have their different struggles. What if someone does if someone ever come to the live club that's really, really like in a in a way that they maybe need to go to therapy first? Or do you ever have to refer therapy? Like mm. like therapy, like talking to somebody. Like are they that low or or you know, what do you what do you do with that? Yeah, that's it. That's thank you. That's a really great question. So I'm not a therapist. That's 
you know, that's, that's one thing. Um, people definitely, you know, a lot of people have come to laughter from depression, but if somebody comes to a club, I would say they're probably ready for something different. Maybe they've tried different things. So if they, if they are coming to a club, it probably can't hurt. What, what might happen is, um, you know, when we go through some kind of trauma, we usually take an inhale of breath <clears throat> and then that gets into our body in the next one and we hold on to it. If we've held on to it for decades, say, and then we go and we laugh and we and we do let ourselves go and we're laughing, ah, ha, 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 that can jostle up those memories. And and sometimes things arrive and they they burble up when we're ready to look at them. We couldn't we couldn't manage with that thing at the time. But here we are decades later, we're older, wiser, and sometimes we can look at it. Yes, yeah, sometimes I haven't experienced anybody having um, crying at the end of my session or feeling sad, but that that is something that we are aware of. I have heard of that happening um, in other clubs. Again, we're not therapists. I would say that it, it can it can help somebody come because it's energy. So it is going to loosen them up. Um, and the laughter therapy can help. You can, I would definitely be willing to work one-on-one -on -one with somebody. It wouldn't be in a, in a class setting like that, where, you know, everybody's there just getting their giggle on. Cause that's something different and it's serious. It really is a serious thing. It is. But I love how you just said that sometimes if they were holding on to something for so long, that it may be brought it to the surface to where they can start talking about that, maybe taking that to the to the therapist and talk it out, you know? So that's powerful what you just said there too, that the laughing might bring that to the surface and they, they may be ready to deal with it, you know, after a long time. So that's powerful. Yeah, sometimes we don't even know. We don't even know what's what it is that's holding us back. We don't even know because it's so suppressed. Right, it's so down. It, it's maybe so was so painful at the time that we can't, you know, we can't even remember. It's it's just gone from our um, conscious memory. I do yeah. look at laughter as like a form of release, and I know that there are a lot of therapies like or like smash therapy where you go to pay to go somewhere and smash things and break them up. Like it's always. Or like, um, I think there's one where you just like kind of scream or or whatever, but it's always like oriented towards like some releasing some type of anger. <laughs> I don't think that people really think that, um, I, well, I, I'm including myself. Like I just never just really laughed and really thought about how good it made me feel or what I just was able to release or how it kind of shifted my energy throughout the day. Like, you know, we're kind of grumpy in the morning and if something funny happens or we see something funny, you know, it, it definitely shifts to a different frequency. So I think it's really great that you're inviting people in to just kind of get a taste of it and that you're also educating people about the actual science behind it. Um, what would one of your classes like typically look like when somebody is coming for the first time? What, what, what can they expect? So I incorporate tapping, it's deep diaphragmatic breathing. So there's a lot of deep breathing, laughter, of course, the clapping, and then just little games. Um, I, I usually put on a song, some some laughter people like uh, putting on a song and we just dance, you know, we just jump around in our Zoom room, <laughs> whatever we're doing. Um, and then you end with a meditation, which on Zoom, in person, it, it, it usually isn't timed. It just is organic. You just... But on Zoom, it seems um, if you time it, then you go at least one minute. Because otherwise people might not know. Some people are muted and it's it's hard. It's a little bit more challenging on, on Zoom to do the the meditation where it's organic and you let, let it go like three or four minutes. Um, and then I usually end with a nice like a song to uh, incorporate all the energy that we just that we just created. So I think like at the, at the end of a yoga session, um, Shavasana or whatever it's called, where you, you know, you just kind of cool down. You just go within for a bit. That's so cool. Awesome. I love that. So you need to remind our viewers where they can find you and all the, where they can get into that class real quick. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah. the website is kathysclub.com, um, 9.30 a.m. Eastern, 30 minutes of super fun self-care. Yeah, come and check it out and... And just feel great. 
Love awesome. it. Super fun self-care and it's free. Doesn't hurt Absolutely. to check it out and 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 just experience like some guided laughter. I love it. Yes, and then and then the fun fab Friday, is that what you call it? What's your YouTube handle on that one? Uh oh, that's it that's hard because it's okay. it's old, so it's got oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. But if you go to my but if you go to my laughter page at kathyscub.com, you can get to my Fun Fab Friday video series. Awesome. There's a there's a little button at the top. Awesome. Yeah, and you can binge watch those. There's like, I don't know, I think it's 13 hours. I added up all the minutes on the videos. I think there's 13 hours of like little shorts. They're three minutes, 10 minutes. They're just like super fun little short videos. And I want to remind our viewers to check out episode 18 where Kathy made her debut with the Abundance Tree podcast. Yes. So that way you can get the backgrounds good, you know. So, yes. But uh, we really enjoyed having you back on with us again. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Janice and April. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We'll have to have you back again. <laughs> so. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'm doing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> We'll keep changing lives with laughter. You're always a pleasure. Thank you for everybody for watching and keeping up with us. Uh, we will see you guys next time. See y'all. Bye. Bye.